Welcome everyone. My name is Igor and my colleague is Anderson. And our topic is virtual lane information for emergency vehicle with V2X communication. So we picked this topic because uh, we are interested in V2X communication, V2X communication. And a brief introduction. Uh, our scenario is a really common scenario. So probably it happened with everyone already. So when you are in the traffic and an ve emergency vehicle approaches, it can be a ambulance or a police car. And the drivers have to take an action so the, the emergency vehicles, vehicle can, uh, can drive freely in this route, in his route. So the emergency vehicle, it needs to be fast to save lives. So if uh, the cars are occupying the road, it will be bad for the time. And it has a high probability of getting involved in accidents. So in the case, the drivers don't have enough time to, to re react correctly. And usually these cars, they use um, blue lights and sirens but we can uh, improve this situation with the v2v communication for example the cars can communicate in a long distance or without seeing or hearing the the lights or the sirens so in our project you use the sumo we create the networks and that it did. My colleague will show it in more details. And the cars and everything. We also use the Omnet++ and the Vanes framework. As we learned in the class, we use the, the simple project, the Vanes simple project as a base for our project. And my colleague will talk more about the project. Our project is simulating a V2V communication. And the traffic scenario is a straight road with two lanes and five passenger cars and one emergency vehicle, as shown in this figure. And in the simulation, uh, Virtual lane is created for the emergency vehicle. When this vehicle approaches, all the passenger vehicles ahead change the to the right uh, lane, as shown here and represented by the red and blue cars. And and leaving the other lane free for the emergency vehicles, vehicle in this case. And this communication is made using V2V Messenger, where the emergency vehicle sends WSM Messenger to the other vehicles, and they replicate this message after 20 seconds. Uh, on Sumo, we use the NetEdit to draw the network and it generates the XML file representing the drawing, where the location, the edge, the junction are defined with their respective characteristics and show in the top image here in the presentation. After that, we create the XML referring to the road, and there we define two types of vehicles the passengers and the emergency. And after that, we create five passenger vehicles and the emergency vehicles, which appear in the simulation at different times and using both lanes. As you can see here, some lanes, uh, some vehicles is on the first, the one, in the others, the zero. It represents the right and left lanes. And uh, we also define the uh, the start 
depart in different uh, times. And the emergency vehicle speed is said to be higher than the passenger vehicles because they need to go faster because it's an emergency. And uh, uh, on the on Net++, we made two uh, main functions. And the first one is the handle position update. And this function uh, used to, to identify uh, emergency vehicles and send a message to the others. So if it's an emergency vehicle, send the message is the this function. The other one important uh, is the on WSM and uh, it handle uh, receiving messages. In other words, it identifies the sender and if it's from our emergency vehicle, it's sent to the others. And here we can see the function set line change mode with this number in binary. And this represents uh, this information. Uh, do no strategic changes, do cooperative change, even if overriding trusty request, do no speed gain changes, do no right driver changes, do not respect other drivers when following tracing request. Adapt speed to fulfill request. And these are the main function implemented for the virtual V communication. And now we have the results of this implementation at the simulation. Okay, so now we have a uh, both simulations running simultaneously, the Omnet simulation and also the Sumo simulation. And I will show uh, the results. So first we have the five um, passenger vehicles. As my colleague said, they depart before and they are in a lower speed. And now when the emergency vehicle appears in the road, it uh, sends a message, a, a WSM message to all the vehicles. And now we see that they became yellow and they changed to the right lane. And it's important to, to, to tell that they also will stay in the right lane because of the other function, because they changed the lane change model, mode. And then after some delay, in this case, for this simulation, it's 20 seconds. Uh, the passenger vehicles will forward the message. And this can be useful, for example, if in front of the, the first vehicle, there are another vehicle that didn't receive the message in the first wave. But it, it, it doesn't happen in our scenario. But it can be useful in other scenarios. And then we can see that all the vehicles stays stay in the right lane. The emergency vehicle can go freely. That's it. Thank you for your attention.